Uh, people yes let's go we got some crazy story here for you man i haven't watched this video before it's gonna be my first time watching it but the title or the caption you know caught my attention man it's a lot of wild stuff going on in the world right now so uh we about to see what's going on okay let me charge this thing up a little bit so it don't die on me. I'm just some bullshit. Everybody know you were my love bug. My husband. I always have forever. Mm -hmm. No. This is the story of Kyla Cooper, age 24. You can tell that dude ain't into her like that. But she she ain't a bad looking chick right here though. Who is this girl? My husband. I always have forever. Mm. No. You be trying to act like you're paying yeah, man. This is the story of Kyla Sorry. Cooper, age 24, a pregnant mother of two, ages four and five who was shot dead by the other girlfriend of her boyfriend while she was visiting his house unannounced around 1 a.m. to tell him about the news of her pregnancy which she had found out a few hours prior. The boyfriend's other girlfriend, Arkia Tate, wasn't too happy about the news of the pregnancy for sure. and for those reason, she got into an argument and fatally shot her. She rather her go to jail than Kyla having another baby which might disrupt the nature of their relationship. Jeez. Hello and welcome to Twisted Crimes. Subscribe and hit the like button for more stories. This story will be taking us to Conyers, wow. Georgia. Conyers is a suburb of Atlanta with a population of 17,415. Atlanta, sheesh. I know where I'm not moving to. It is located in the northern part of Georgia. Conyers has a livability score of 67 out of 100, That's which is bad. considered good. Conyers boasts a significantly lower crime rate when compared to most larger urban areas. Kyla Cooper, age 24, grew up in Georgia. She studied at Fort Valley State University. She was a very lovely and sweet person. The girls, the girls got some nice cute faces though. She got she she got a decent cute face, cute ghetto girl cute face. She loved to dance, drink, and make herself happy in general. I'm out of town, thinking with my round, my coochie pink, my booty. Bro, I hope y'all go see my uh reaction I just did on uh 42 Doug featuring sexy red, bro. Yeah, man, I hope y'all check it out. Oh, yeah. You know, I'm not the type of dude that talks too much, man. Talking doesn't help nothing. It doesn't solve anything. You, you, it's being quiet, I feel like it's the answer. If everyone be quiet, and I say a damn thing, but it's hard. It's hard not to say. It's hard not to say something. You feel me? It's hard to stay silent. You feel me? The whole game. Tell her to come back today. Tell her to stop dead broke. I'm around. I'm not this way. Them not riding around. Cause he's fucking my house. At this point, you know, I hope I'm not getting lost because I'm seeing clips of different women. But, you know, like I said, the title, man, when I hear stories like this, female on female crime, that's not good news, bro. If females pulling triggers on other females about shit like this, yeah, the world is getting out of hand type shit. <laughs> what happened to women getting down type shit? You know, like, you know. So they be making these stories, posting posting them on the internet about you know they be feeling 
these type of world by these dumb boys. <laughs> yeah, man, I'll be chasing the bad dudes, the, the, the bad ones. Yeah, man, like I, I be telling people, man, if you, if you the only one in your friend group without a Glock, you need, a, you need some new friends. <laughs> Yeah, for sure, bro. Like, you, you need some new friends. You don't, you don't need to hang around them, man. All your friends got guns and you don't got one. You, you need to stay away from them. Yeah, man, for real. Because, yeah, for sure. I hope y'all listening, man. And I'll be salty. Please, please, if you go around. She built nice though, like you know, she has some nice features. Even when you feel low, you can still go. I ain't gonna lie, I love when girls do that shit though, but you know, I want them doing it on me. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Kyla had two children who she really loved. She had them one year apart and they were very close. They were so clo close to her heart. Two children. Look, Nala, say cheese. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. <laughs> the father of the kids was someone who was a bit older than her, but she loved him so much according to the things she posted about them on social media. I'm just some bullshit. Everybody know you my love, but my husband. My always and forever. No. You be trying to act like everything, but you know you don't fool me. Stop, motherfucker. I mean, my always and forever. Chill, following y'all. I love you. All y'all Snapchat followers, don't get me the fuck out. He don't follow. Oh God. And you're not fucking free, so get slapped the fuck out. You don't fuck with her like that, bro. You like, man, sorry, I'm just trying to get my shit wet. Like, you know, I don't like you. Like, shit. My baby. Yeah. Tell me I'm lying. Tell me this, how, this ain't how y'all really be feeling about these ones that are not y'all type type shit. Uh, yeah. I don't have no problem with my hair, babe. I had to walk the house kicking shit. <laughs> I got Christmas hair. This actually goes with the Christmas color of Halloween. Can I give me some kisses? Give me kisses. Sorry, of course, too late. Give me kisses. <laughs> Can't be each other. From what she had said in the video, <laughs> my boy pimping, big pimping. <laughs> he big pimping her. Hey, she she cute though. She cute, cute little face, nice little lips. I don't know who shot who, but dang, let's go. They planned to marry each other, but at a point she wanted to try a new person out due to some reasons she had stated to her friends and family. She was grateful to have had her kids by him, but she was New ready person. to move on. The fairy tale with him had ended. During this time, that's how you step on niggas. Yeah, okay. She was briefly single. She lived and enjoyed her life to the maximum. Yeah, they be stepping on us, man. They really be treating us like. I see, I see. She gotta be a twerker. She a twerker. That's why she playing this song. What? And you fuck with these lyrics, bro? She cool with it. She cool with that lyrics. She cool with 21 saying that. Starting route to 3211 Gleason Avenue. Go past this light. Then at the next one, turn left. While enjoying her life, she met a man named Rish. Cause he a soldier. Oh man, this dude look, look too gangster for me, bro. 
She ain't. She looks slimy. She turned gangster, gangster. Her eyes changed. Sheesh. Dang. Shad Thompson, age 31. They clicked and they started loving each other like her first relationship. Say you want a real one, someone you can love. Bro, the issue was that Rashad was. I'm, I'm confused. All the girls that I've been seeing so far look the same. I don't know who is who to be honest. Not a one woman man. He loved to try different. But the story is good though. The story that I'm, I'm being told by the the voice over actor sounds good. Different women at the same time. Also, he was staying with a lady who was housing him. Well, during their lovey dovey moment, Kyla. Bro, this how you can tell. Bro, I'm not even gonna, you know, put my heart and in all into all of this content, right? Cause, you know, uh, it it could it could be not true. It could not be true. Like it could not. This story could be made up type stuff because I'm seeing videos that that's not even the people and stuff so I, if you somebody watching this video I, I wouldn't really fall for this like I wouldn't think this is really really true got pregnant and she found found out about that hours before she was killed according to her cousin she took a pregnancy test and when it was confirmed positive she decided right. to get a uber to Rashad's house to inform him about the good news she somehow made it to his shared house with his girlfriend around 1 a.m. While they were talking about the pregnancy, a lady arrived to the apartment. She claimed to be Rashad's girl too and did not like the news see, that she is pregnant Rashad? for Rashad. This, Rashad. this led to serious confrontation between both ladies about being right pregnant here. or not. And Unfortunately, I, I, during the argument, her. this lady named Arkia Tate produced a gun and shot Kyla straight in the head. Kyla fell to the ground and the cops were called. Before they arrived, oh, Arkia had fled victim. the scene, but she was later captured nearby. Upon getting oh, there, man, it was confirmed that 24-year-old Kyla man. Cooper... They bad. Light-skinned girls, man, they the type of girls that, that are comfortable raising, you know, like, six dogs. Any human that raise five-plus animals in their crib... Yeah, you a, you a true savage for me, bro. Like, come on, one is enough. Three plus animals I've seen. Yeah, there's some light skin girl that, that comfortable raising big, big, big pets like that. You feel me? Them girls, they, they wild, man. They really, they really bad, bad. Had died from a single gunshot to her head. Pregnant woman was killed at a home in Rockdale County. We've just learned new details about it. I'm Lana Harris. And I'm Rick Fulbaum. And oh my God, bro, we, bro. I'm not even going to say too much, but I got to be careful on you, guys. Let's fill you in on what we know. Rockdale County police uh, telling us that they made the gruesome discovery just before one o'clock this morning along Gulf View Terrace in Conyers. That's about 28 miles or so southeast of Atlanta. Atlanta News First Don Shipman is live outside the Rockdale County Sheriff's Office. Don, you just got an update. What do you know? Yeah, the sheriff's office just releasing the names of those involved and is telling us that Arkea Tate is charged with felony murder, accused of killing Kyla Cooper. Right. How A neighborhood in unincorporated Rockdale County rocked by gunfire in the middle of... Bro, how angry you gotta be to do that shit? Man, some, some people gotta be calm the F down when they interacting with... You, how you go to somebody crib at 1 a.m. trying to do all of that? Love the night. It's a lot. It's a lot. See, that's why, I, I, you know, I've warned y'all not to really believe the story, bro, because it could be not how it went. It's just somebody trying to get some YouTube views, posting content. But, you know, like I told y'all from the start, the title caught my attention. That's why I'm checking this video out man because it's horrific man it's horrific for somebody another lady to do that to another lady man because yeah, she man. was out here for hours i just talked to her today i ordered the lift so i feel messed up 
so hurt. Authorities say deputies arrived to this Conyers duplex in the 2500 block of Gulf View Terrace shortly after 1 a.m. to discover a woman shot to death. The victim's cousin, DJ, too upset to go on camera, says that he had just ordered her a lift to her boyfriend's house shortly after she took a pregnancy test. His cousin, in her mid-20s, a mother of a four- and five-year-old, was excited to tell her boyfriend she was pregnant. While she was delivering the news, her boyfriend's other girlfriend showed up. So her and my cousin got to arguing, which led to him and her arguing, and one thing led to another, and she got shot. That's all I know. It was just a lot of screaming and a lot of, of crying. Neighbors waking up to the sounds of arguing in the driveway, then the loud bang of a single gunshot. Their tree-lined street turned into a crime scene. Rockdale County detectives. That's a Bonnie and Clyde type of story, man. Spending several hours collecting evidence and interviewing witnesses. Well, I heard a lot of arguing and... But don't you, don't, won't you love to have a girl like that? A girl, you know, we all dream about having a rider. And you got a girl that will <laughs> go this far for you, man. I hope she doesn't break up with him after all of this. Because it wouldn't make sense. Why would you kill somebody and break up with a guy after this? It would be stupid. You gonna do this? We gotta, we gotta fight till the end. You feel me? Heard a lot of like I heard. They saying Shorty got charged with some, so she probably behind bars right now. Y'all think she got life for a few years? Sheesh. Y'all think she, if she comes back out again, she's gonna be fucking with dude again, or she's gonna move on? Then if she moves on. Then she she really did a terrible thing, man. She really, you know, f her life for doing that shit. Like she, you know. Heard some thumps and then I heard the shot. And after the shot, car alarm went off. But people love shots, man. People love talking about shots, man. People love shit like that. But not me though. I don't rock with that shit. And I looked out the window, and there was a car flying down the street with lights off. Arkia was later held in jail. On she pretty too, Arkia. Damn, you don't want to mess with her, bro. Bro, I, bro. Once you enter a pre, you know, a jail, a jail cell, bro. Everybody know what you are, a motherfucking. Come on, leave a comment what you think you become. When, once you enter a jail cell, bro, what do you see here? What does this person look like right now? Come, on, I ain't gonna say too much, bro, because I keep telling y'all we the truest in this dying line. On charges of felony murder, aggravated assault, and possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony. Now you haven't subscribed, man. I don't want to say it again, man. You, you might as well just do that today, right now. Let's go. Fox 5's Deidre Dukes is live at the Rockdale County Sheriff's Office. And Deidre, you got the opportunity to talk to the victim's father. That's right, Eric. And the victim's family simply devastated today. They say the young mother was pregnant with her third child when she was shot and killed at a residence here in Conyers overnight. Man, I gotta be careful, bro. I shouldn't even be feeling bad for these people, bro. Like, I've had girls do me so bad, bro. Like, they be thinking, they, you know, like you, you know, you reach out to a girl, you know, you know, y'all be trying to get on some, and then the girl will be on some evil stuff just because she a girl and everybody want to mess with her. She will go pull a new dude in front of you and be on some lovey-dovey stuff right in front of you, bro, like thinking, you know, they, you know, she trying to make you be sad. And whole time these dudes get them pregnant and they leave them. And then they stuff like that happen, bro. You know, like, come on. They they be thinking they playing us, but they really playing themselves, bro. Like, and I'm not trying to offend anybody. Y'all know that shit real, bro. Y'all know it's true, man. I'm real, I'm real, bro. Y'all know that stuff's true, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, they be doing us so bad. And you know. And stuff like this happened. That's why I was, you know, I was thinking one time, man. Like, we shouldn't feel bad for single moms, like, shit. Like, you know, because they really be out here on some player shit, man. They ain't playing out here. They really be playing, playing. <laughs>
Rockdale County Sheriff's detectives returned to the crime scene Thursday afternoon, canvassing the neighborhood, searching for evidence. And the everything in the, the dudes they picking over us be so better, bruh. Deadly shooting that claimed the life of 24-year-old Kyla Cooper, the Decatur woman. Dang, 24. Damn, ever since Kobe Bryant passed away, life been going. But I hope I, I pray that it gets better. I pray that we we get peace in the world, all over the nation. I pray that we get peace, peace wherever I am at. Yep, amen. And was shot and killed at this home on Gulfview Terrace in Conyers just before 1 a.m. There's no justification for this whatsoever. I don't see any. This girl is simply going over there to establish a pregnancy. I spoke with Cooper's father by phone. Ronald County said the young mother of two drove to boyfriend Rashad Thompson. Damn. Some girls, when uh, another girl come to, you know, come tell them your boyfriend got me pregnant, they're going to get upset and they're going to tell the dude, how could you do this to me? But this girl wasn't on that. She said, get your raggedy heads out of my crib, man. I'm like, oh, shit, man. You know, like, God forgive me, man. I'm just reacting, man. That's just this story is unbelievable. You know, uh, respect to the victims' parents, but it's just this wild story, man. I was just scrolling and I happened to see this video. I'm not trying to make fun of anybody, but this is just the mindset of some people. Some ladies, they they will they will be mad at the boyfriends for getting another girl, another girl pregnant. But this girl wasn't on that. She was, she was, yeah, you know, something made her angry, man. Love ain't a game, I see, man. I ain't gonna play with nobody's heart. And I ain't gonna chase nobody's girlfriend, bro. Cause, man, these dudes, man, any dude that fight over a dude, any dude that fight over a girl, you, you, you one. S T U P I D person man and any girl that fights over a dude you s-t-u-p-i-d bro you don't fight over nothing me i ain't gonna bro if you hear if you if you hear that there's something with your girl bro and you want to fight me over that bro you you want you you shouldn't even claim to be cool bro you not cool you're not gangster you're not real you're not you're not you nothing bro you should just keep it you keep it moving, man. You don't fight no dude. You deal. You fight the girl, man. You go fight the girl for doing that. You never. Fight Since the house dude. to tell him she was pregnant with his child, when Arkea Tate, who was also reportedly involved in a relationship with Thompson, showed up at the house. I guess the girl who the house belonged to comes pulling in or whatever and sees them arguing. What they said, like my daughter never even had a chance to eat it, defend herself, say anything. They said the girl just pulled a pistol out and. Tate fled the scene. Police caught up with her a short time later and took her into custody. She's charged with felony murder, aggravated assault, and possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony. The victim's boyfriend was arrested at the scene on unrelated charges. Rashad Thompson was also arrested. He was later found out to have been arrested for possession of firearm or knife during commission of or attempt to commit certain felonies. The police department released a statement as regards the tragic incident. This time we are still investigating what was the exact relationship between Mr. Thompson and also Ms. Cooper and also Mr. Thompson and Ms. Tate. Jeez. Unfortunately, Kyla lost her life to a very silly thing. For no reason should two women engage in actions that can cause them death or going to jail for a very long period of time over men and vice versa. It is never that serious. Exactly, the other party in question will move on and almost not serious. remember what happened years later. Our sincere See, condolences so to the families and friends of Kyla Cooper. You know, Shorty probably felt like, man, you, you, a, you a thot, you a thot, bro. You, you, you know, that's how you, you need to go away, like type shit bro it get like that you know like yeah man so you y'all here doing all of this stealing people's mans and all of that trying to claim a whole bunch of dudes man it ain't cool bro and and it's sad that 
You know, women are always right nowadays. May her soul continue to rest in peace. We hope her kids get the love and kindness they need in this world. Please let's stay safe and we do hope to see you all in the next video. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm gonna make this video very short. I don't wanna talk for too long. Y'all seen it. Y'all, y'all heard my thoughts. Yeah, I don't, I'm not, I don't, yeah, you know, I don't, I don't need to say anything. Yeah, man, I just want y'all to subscribe to this YouTube channel because we the truest, we the realest in this thing, and you're going to definitely be a boss, you know, you, you're going to turn into a, a bigger boss, you know, um, as, as we go on, as you, as we glow up, you feel me? I appreciate you for watching this video. You know, leave a comment. Let me, let me know y'all thoughts, man. You know, let me know if I said something stupid. <laughs> for sure, alright, man. Make sure you come back for the next dope video, alright? Stay blessed.